Hello, I'm Brock of the Pirate, and and today I'm going to be taking the eight values quiz. Now, I've already taken the political compass quiz, so, <laughs> and I've heard that's really inaccurate, so, and I've heard this is better. It does already seem a lot better, because I can add all the quality markets, nation, globe. Already much more impressed. Hmm. Anyway, I'll click the start. You present with a series of statements. For each one, click the button with your opinion on it. Wait. Pressure by corporations is more of a concern than oppression by governments. Um. Nah. This silly though. <laughs> this silly. They they're not quite as serious as governments. I mean, governments can't go out of business. Corporations can. <laughs> you can pretty much vote with your wallet, but with a government, it's not so easy getting them out of power once they're in there. So, yeah, disagree. The neutral disgrace, it's not like corporations can't ever do damage. Or... Actually, strongly disagree. Yeah. Necessary for the government to intervene in the economy to protect consumers. Yeah, strongly agree. Um, I'd say agree. Because, like, again, like I was saying, the political compass quiz. Yeah. You know, how about if they sell rat poison or something like that? <laughs> I mean, the free market isn't going to protect the people who have already drunk the rat poison if they, so if they sell it. I mean, you could argue that the free market... Oh, no, if they sell rat poison, then the free market will stop them from... Like, people will stop buying the rat poison, but you should, like, avoid having the them sell rat poison in the first place <laughs> yeah yeah strongly agree it's good it's good for them to intervene i don't know maybe i'm uninformed but yeah strongly free the markets the free the people yeah true i'm all for capitalism that's the word for word same question in the in the political compass quiz. Free the markets, free the people, yeah, true. Better maintain a balanced budget than ensure welfare for all systems. Yeah, somewhat agree. I mean welfare's important, like like the having Medicare for everybody and making sure that people get unemployment benefits which are not too high like obviously having them too high and de-incentivizing them for work is bad but having a little bit of an unemployment benefit isn't too bad yeah i'd say agree publicly funded research is more beneficial to the people than leaving it to the market <clears throat> To the people leaving to the market, I would say I agree. Yeah, strongly agree, because, like, not everything has a discernible, like, use. Like, yeah. I mean, corporations tend to research evil things like hacking your brain <laughs> and stuff like that. I don't know how to explain this one, like, what's a good example? We'll say, we'll say where the religion is dropping or dropping in attendance, like, how would you get a profit out of that? Yeah, now I strongly agree, strongly agree, I think. 
Tariffs on international trade are important to encourage local production. Oh, that's a tough one. I don't know. International trade are important to encourage local production. Because, like, there was Brexit. Like, logically, it makes sense. You know, you, you get people to buy your own products to get profit, but then again, there was Brexit, <laughs> and Brexit was a disaster, <laughs> like, nobody, like, it kind of ruined the economy of Britain, so, I don't know, at least I think it was a disaster, I haven't really been paying too much attention to it, but, yeah, that's a tough one. I would say neutral, I'm sure. I'm not sure. Each according to this ability, each according to these needs. Yeah, individualism. Let's say agree. Best if social programs were abolished in favour of private charity. Nah, I'd strongly disagree. I hate fucking charities. Charities are evil. I mean, yeah, same in the last video. I'll elaborate. Like, yeah, you... Yeah. I don't know, they, they get corrupt. They... Usually you don't know where the money's going with private charities. I mean, with social programs, you know where it's going. Like, you know how much money you're contributing and what's going to go to the, the program. And you know, there's safeguards about it. And, like... It, you get as much as you the people need to to like look after the disadvantaged. I mean, yeah, I don't like charities. So yeah, most of the money doesn't even yeah, most of the money doesn't even go to the cause which they say they do. Yeah, look at the Christian, like, charities, like, with the toll, <laughs> with them asking people to donate all their money to, yeah, and then, social programs are good, I disagree. Taxes should increased on the rich to provide to the poor. I don't know, it depends on what sort of rich, I mean... You're talking about people who actually use their money to provide jobs to people. I don't know. Rich to provide to the poor. My instinct is saying strongly disagree. I mean, rich to provide for the poor. Yeah, because, like, looking after the rich naturally looks after the poor. I mean, yeah, they're the ones who create jobs. But then again, if they, like, just the frivolous and, and like, like a corporate manager who doesn't really do anything and, yeah, all the corporate managers, all the CEOs... I'm not the CEOs, like the, the middle management people who don't do anything. <laughs> do do anything so dis discernible for the... Yeah, I'd have to strongly... i say neutral. Inheritance is a legitimate form of wealth. What do they mean? Of course it is. It's wealth. <laughs> It's wealth. Inheritance is a legitimate form of wealth. Nothing wrong with inheritance. I don't know. They're talking about whether people should be able to inherit for their family. I mean, it's kind of unfair to the parents of the people. I mean, people should be able to work to provide for their families. To make sure their families have a better future. Because what else, what other reason do you have to work? I mean... Yeah, I'd say agree. I mean, obviously, there's a lot of spoiled brats. I mean, <laughs> Jaden Smith comes to mind. 
<laughs> but then <laughs> being a Todd. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, that's a good. Yeah, I'd say agree. I'd say agree. Basic utilities records and like, yeah, strongly agree. Fuck libertarians on this. <laughs> Electricity should be public land. Definitely strongly agree. That's just stupid. I want electricity and roads to be reliable. I want there always to be roads. I want there always to be electricity. I don't want it to be crowdfunded like a lot of libertarians say. <laughs> no. Strongly agree, yeah. Government intervention is a threat to the economy. Yeah, somewhat agree. Government intervention. I'm unsure about that. Because again, you need to regulate the the uh, markets. Can't let them get away. Even though I do side with the free market, I'm... government intervention is a threat to the economy. Um. Well, let's say neutral. I'm not sure about that. Those your great ability to pay should receive better health care. Nah, strongly disagree. Health care should be free for everybody. I'm not, I'm not exactly free. Of course you should pay, but... You know, people dying because they're poor isn't right. I mean, although I don't, I don't believe in, I'm not a communist. <laughs> I don't believe in everybody being, should be equal with, if they don't put in the extra work, so. But this is going too far. Yeah, strongly disagree. I, I like Australia's healthcare system. It's it's good. It's good for the most part. But anyway, oh god, quality education is a right of all people. Quality education. Yeah, strongly agree. Education's good. I don't like private schooling. Everybody deserves to have a chance to get ahead and, like, climb the social hierarchy. Yeah. The means of production should belong to the workers who use them. Means of production should belong to the workers who use them. Um, workers who use them. No. No, it should belong to the companies. They're the ones who risk everything. To, they risk all their capital. They do most of the work. should belong to the people who do the most work, which is obviously the CEOs and the, and the business owners. So the workers, you know, just don't do that much. At least in a lot of cases anyway. I mean... Especially with small businesses. I mean, my, bo my boss, I personally work, I guess. And my boss does far more work than me. So, no, I strongly disagree. That's communist. I don't like it. The United Nations should be plus. No, I strongly disagree. I mean, if there was no United Nations, then the small countries wouldn't be able to protect themselves. It's kind of stupid. Then China and Russia. I'm noticing all the bigger countries are more evil. Well, the nicer, more small countries, which are, have better economies and are more freer. And yeah, they're all they're all small. So no, they need to stick together. I I strongly disagree. I'm not too sure why people would strongly agree. Yeah, it's stupid. They're stupid. They need to stick together. Yeah, military act in my nation not for necessary to protection. Obviously, obviously you need to military action. Like you know, sometimes not only protected. Like 
like people will like complain if you don't intervene like no matter what you do like if you don't intervene then people would complain like other nations will complain hey you're allied with people that say hey why aren't you helping why aren't you helping us and if you do intervene then your enemies complain i mean <laughs> They'll complain about you intervening. So you can't really win. So obviously military action is... Yeah, strongly agree. So regional union since the European Union. Yes, yeah, somewhat... Yeah, agree. I agree. They need to stick together. They're small. You need to... I don't know whether... How evil they are, but... Maybe I'm, maybe I'm misinformed in this, but yeah, they're small, so they need to stick together. They need to work as a, a unit. Born to retain a national sovereignty. Yeah. National sovereignty. I don't know, like. I don't know, I have to strongly agree. I mean, I don't know, but... Yeah, strongly agree. I don't know how to elaborate on that. You know, the world government be better. Oh, fuck no. No. You need to have competition. You need to have competition for with other people. I mean, yeah, you have a better the United World Government. That would not work. That would definitely not work. I mean, I mean, you need choices. Like, say, if the United World Government is becomes evil for whatever reason. I mean, they become bad. I mean, you need a, an opposing force to oppose them. Yeah, to put them in check. I disagree. Yes, yeah, strongly disagree. Yeah. It's more important to retain peaceful relations and to further our strength. To retain peaceful relations. Yeah, it's usually better to peace. To further our strength. I don't, I'm not too sure what that means, but... Obviously, peace is better. I don't know how to elaborate on that. Wars do not need to be justified to other countries. I strongly disagree. Of course they always need to be... <laughs> like Russia. <laughs> Russia suddenly... Yeah. Wars do not need to be justified. <laughs> um Yeah, I don't know. Strongly disagree. Why's he always got to justify them? He can't just invade countries for no reason or for little reason. That's bullshit. Military spending is a waste of money. I strongly disagree. Holy shit. You need the military. I mean, or maybe somewhat disagree. Nah, I strongly disagree. I mean, maintaining, like, military spending ensures peace i mean the more military you have the more likely that you're going to avoid going to war and getting taken over i mean it's good it's may not have an immediate benefit but yeah you just yeah strongly disagree international aid is a waste of money nah I disagree Strongly disagree. It's good to help out your know, allies because, like, allies will later on help you. I mean, yeah, it should be somewhat collectivist in that day. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with helping out. It's good. It's touching. I like it. I like it. My nation is great. Australia? Is Australia great? Yeah, it's good. It's good. I like Australia, even though people are... It's got many problems. Especially in later today. 
it's gradually becoming more and more problematic, but yeah, I like Australia, I like people are friendly here, I guess. We have a good economy, at least compared to the rest of the world. I mean, aside from, uh, we'll get into it. The nation is great. I strongly agree. I'd say agree. We got problems. Research has been conducted on an international scale. Yeah, research, because, like, a lot of research doesn't have an immediate use. Oh, wait, um, deduction of international, do you mean, like, oh, I don't know. Nah. Yeah. Neutral, I'm not too sure about that. I think people should compete. Not on an international scale. Nah, I strongly disagree. Should be in a by country. So they can compete with each other. Government should be accountable to the international community. Yeah, strongly agree. Should be accountable. It's like, how about North Korea or Russia or... China, you should police each other. That's the whole reason why we have different countries and stuff. I mean, to keep each other in check. I mean, if there wasn't multiple countries, again, I was talking about this before, but if there wasn't multiple countries, then people would be more chance of them becoming corrupt. Uh, I don't know. I think, yeah, I have to strongly agree. Even protesting an authoritarian government, violence is not acceptable. Protesting an authoritarian government is somewhat... I don't know. I'd say agree. Because mostly it's better to just... I don't know. I'm not sure about that. Because like with China... I don't know, because, like, usually when you overthrow a government with force, usually something happens, like, well, the people taking over by force, they, re they instate themselves as the rulers, but they're really crap at it. I mean, usually it's better to, I don't know, I'm neutral on that. That's a hard one. That's a hard one. I, I'm unsure. My religious values should be spread as much. But yeah, of course, Christianity should totally be spread. And the reason why so much craziness is going on, I mean... Yeah, I mean... Christianity is... You know, they're usually happier people. They usually have more children. They're usually more moral. I mean, there's been studies on this. They say, oh, atheism and Christianity are the same. No, no, they're not. <laughs> yeah, they're Christian, Christians are, yeah, they're, they're happier. They're, they have less depression, less mental illness, less... Yeah, more moral, like, because of the brainwashing which happens, <laughs> I guess, brain sounds terrible when I say brainwashing, but, you know, that's how we work, though, you know, we get, we're easily brainwashed, we're easily, like, fall to peer pressure and stuff, and if the peer pressure says to forgive your enemies and to not judge people and... Okay, maybe the homosexuality being against homosexuals is a bit much. I mean, I'm not a, I'm not against homosexuals, but the vast majority of Christian values are great. I mean, and yeah, and, and when people like yeah, I was saying this in the other video, you know, when people 
don't even believe in good and evil. <laughs> and I think that good and evil are just two different perspectives and two sides of the same coin that's not real, that's not true. I mean, is rape evil? <laughs> is rape not evil? I mean, is is murder not evil? Is is raping a puppy not evil? <laughs> is torture not evil? I mean, come on, it's stupid. Yeah, my religious violence should be spread as much as possible. Yeah, strongly agree. Religious violence should be spread as much as possible. Um, not sure about that. One. I don't know. Yeah, I somewhat agree. Ah, oh, but it's multi multiculturalism, though. I don't know. I don't like multiculturalism. You should integrate into a culture. I'm not against immigration. Like, I'm an immigrant. My, I'm a child of an immigrant myself, and she integrated into Australian culture. I mean... Yeah, I'm not sure about that one. Yeah, multiculturalism's bad. But the other stuff is good. I don't know. I, I like America's more. <laughs> I like America's values more than Australia's, though. I don't like how anti-free speech we are. I don't like how... Yeah, authoritarian. We're very... It's a very authoritarian place, Australia. <laughs> yeah, neutral and short. Very important to maintain law and order. Yeah, strongly agree. Uh, somewhat agree, because, like, if you go too far with it, if you go too far with it, you have a surveillance state, like, I don't know. But law and order. Yeah, I'd say agree, but you don't want to go too far. And say strongly agree, cause like, <laughs> well, yeah, you get an authoritarian government in a surveillance state, which leads to a lot of problems, which, which is bad. I don't know. I don't want to. I don't want a far-reaching government. But yeah, a little bit of law and order is good. But yeah, John Mobles made sore decisions. Yeah, neutral and sure. I'm not too sure about that. It's actually no. I'd I'd somewhat disagree. I mean, usually a majority. The majority usually has good ideas. It's only like pockets of a major of the population do all bad stuff, like with lobby groups and stuff. Makes poor decisions. Yeah, I somewhat disagree. And the majority. Normies usually have their lives together. It's all the idiots, extremists on the... Like, communists or nationalists or... Which make all the poor decisions. Yeah. Nah, I disagree. I believe in democracy. Physician assisted suicide should be legal. Ah, oh, that's a tough one. Yeah, I think so. I mean, if you're dying of, like, something really horrendous, like, yeah, you shouldn't. I know, very unchristian thing to say, but. <laughs> it should be legal. Yeah. No, I have to. I have to agree. Unless, although, then again, slippery slope though, because like I've heard a lot of people. Yeah, I heard a lot of positions uh, allowing suicide for anybody, <laughs> for everybody, even if they're depressed, which is lame. <laughs> yeah. No, it should be, it should be legal, it should be, it, yeah, with an asterisk, 
Sacred summoned the silver lilies is nursing to Oh fuck no. Terrorism again, like I was saying in the other video, terrorism really isn't a big deal. I mean, it's only because we act to on it. Like we, we act like it's in the name. If you're not terrified, then it doesn't do shit. Only a very tiny percentage of people actually die from suicide attacks or or mass shootings or stuff like that. It's stupid. No, I strongly disagree. Common spans are necessary in the modern world. I'm not sure. Government surveillance, nah, strongly disagree. I mean, should be private surveillance. Should be up to the people with phones or... Yeah, nah, strongly disagree. Because you can easily take advantage of it. Governments can easily take advantage of that. I don't know. Resistance of the state is a threat to our liberty. Oh, fuck no, shut up. Shop. Shop libertarians. Existence of the state is a threat to our liberty. It's good having states. It's good having countries. I uh, strongly disagree. That's stupid. Regardless of political opinions, it's important to side with your country. Yeah, because it's, well, if you don't side with the country, who else will? I mean, other countries aren't going to side with the country. You should look after where you live. <laughs> yeah, side with the country. Always, always have your be country's best interests in heart. Yeah, or authority should be questioned. Yeah, strongly agree. You should always question authority, even if it's God. Even if you're religious, God's authority should be questioned. It's in the Bible. You should be arguing with... You should be wrestling with God. Yeah. Authority should always be questioned. You should always question why you're doing stuff. Why you, like, do the things you do, and why you... Yeah, question. There's nothing wrong with questioning. Yeah, strongly agree. Hierarchical state is best. Um, yeah, there's nothing wrong with hierarchies. I mean, it gives you a goal in life. I mean, if you didn't have hierarchies, I mean, it would be boring. That's communist. That's communist. I mean, it's antithetical to human nature, you know, you, you have an instinct to climb hierarchies and become the best person you can be. At least a lot of people do anyway, and the people who don't, you know, that's good as well. I mean, yeah, it gives you a goal. Yeah, I have to strongly agree. It's important that the government follows the majority's opinion, even if it's wrong. Um, somewhat agree. Somewhat agree, I mean... I don't know, because, like, whenever does that actually happen when it's wrong? Yeah, some might agree. Because, like, government should do what they tell you. And how do you know? Like, how about the times when the government is wrong and the majority opinion is right? And you have to have standards for this sort of stuff, like... Yeah, strong, I agree somewhat. Stronger the leadership, the better. Obviously. Leaders are important. I don't care what people say. Ooh, leaders movement. Leaderless stuff. The, the, no, stronger leadership, the better. Obviously. What, what kind of question is that? I, I'm not even going to... Democracy is more than the decision-making process. 
I'm not sure about that. What does that mean? More than a decision? I'm not sure. Biometric regulations are essential. Yeah, regulations are good. Good old government for that. You need to have regulations for that. It's like, yeah, I mean, as great as capitalism is, I mean, it, you need to, it needs checks and balances, yeah. Anything not to do with profit, it's like, yeah, you, you don't want them destroying sacred sites or yeah, culture is important, so. Better world can come from automation, science, and technology. Uh, automation. I don't know, I'm, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> We're at a point where it's diminishing returns. I mean, so what if we get a slightly better iPhone, or we not have to work, or... Yeah. Thing in space would be cool. I mean, if we get to space, it would be cool, but other than that, you know, we're already at the top. Already at the top. I mean, what other stuff can we get which will improve our lives? I mean, we already got video games. We've already got great movies. We've got TV. we got shit like that. Yeah. Uh, Space would be cool, though. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. They're going too far. Yeah, and I, I, I don't know about it. Yeah, neutral, I'm sure. Children are educated, religious or traditional? Yes, of course they should be. Like, like I was saying before, like, religious values are... Religious or traditional values. Like, I don't think it should be absolutely forced, but you should try to brainwash the little bastards into having good values and being proud of your country and not, you know, I don't know. Yeah, strongly agree. I'm ready. Traditions are no value on their own. Oh, bullshit. Of course they are. They keep the culture going. They, I mean, look what happened when you remove the culture from, you know, Native Americans or, or Abor Australian Aboriginals. I mean, you know, they, their cultures were ruined, so they were ruined. I mean, that could happen to us. In fact, it is happening to us. <laughs> There's no value on their own. Yeah. It's nice having... Holidays or Christmas. Say if there wasn't a Christmas. I mean, I mean, that'd be sad. I mean, nothing tying us together. Yeah, strongly disagree. Children play a role. Oh, no, strongly disagree. Religion and government should be kept separate. Yeah. No offense to Muslims, but I, yeah, that's one of the things which prevented me from converting to. Islam is it is it it's like yeah the Sharia law I don't like it I yeah religion shouldn't play a goal with government up. churches should be taxed the same way other institutions are taxed oh that's a good one no but it's a charity though isn't it the charities, I don't know, I'm unsure about that. I mean, yeah, there's many fundamentalists. I don't know, actually, I think... Depends on the type of church. If it's a cult... If it's a cult, like... Jehovah's Witnesses or something, yeah, they should be. I don't know, I think maybe. Maybe they should be. I somewhat agree, I somewhat agree. Climate change is probably one of the greatest search to a way of life. 
I'm unsure about that. Because, like, ooh, the water's level's gonna rise, but, dude, we, we'll get through it. It's not life-threatening. Big deal. So the weather's gonna get a little hotter. I mean, you'll get through it. You will. <laughs> sure, there'll be lots of immigrants coming over, and sure, the world will change a little bit, but, dude, we'll, we'll get through it. I don't know. Neutral on shore. I don't know. What the work is United World to combat climate change? Yeah. Nah, it's already too late. It's already too late. We're, we're on the track already. Started better many years ago than it is now. Nah, disagree. <laughs> disagree. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I mean, there was World War II, there was millions of people dying in wars, and, yeah. I don't know, many years ago, but then again, and many people were getting raped. No, it's good now. It's good now, even though we have problems too now. I oh, yeah, and technology and everything, but... Yeah, there was many problems back then as well. There was pollution back then too. They were, you know, they were complaining about the... Um, <laughs> so there's better many... Nah, I have to strongly disagree. We have more rights now, even though, yeah, it is slowly going to die. You mean back in the 90s? I don't know. I don't know, that's somewhat neutral, actually. It's like, in the 90s, so it's great. Because we had a good, good mix of, of people not being racist, but at the same time, like, not being overly PC with everything. We were richer back then, people had more money, and now... Nowadays, even though we have better stuff, like we have better technology, which is good. I don't know, I'm neutral. I'm neutral, because it's a give and take something. I don't know. Wouldn't they maintain a tradition in the past? Yeah, I strongly agree. Traditions have a past. It's in the most part. Yeah, you need religion. You need... You need culture. Yeah, I should go crazy. Important to think the long term beyond their lifespans. Um, yeah, children. Yeah, children are important. Yeah, I agree. Reason is more important than maintaining our culture. Nah, screw science. What well, do you mean, like science? <laughs> Are you euphoric because you're enlightened? <laughs> Culture is important. Attaining a culture. I don't know, but then again, there's stuff like... Like Sharia law. I don't know, maybe I'm neutral on that, because... Like, the Sharia law... I mean, there's, yeah, there's bad cultures. There's bad cultures, I don't know. Of course, there's African-American culture, which is kind of bad at the moment. Used to be really good, though. But now they're slowly degenerated, I don't know. Actually, maybe... Any yeah, Christianity though, but I don't know. I'm neutral because, like, in one hand, culture can be bad, but culture can be good as well. Like with Christianity and stuff, depends on the type of culture. Depends on the type of culture. I don't know. I'm neutral. Probably should be legalized and decriminalized. Oh fuck no, no. You should cut that shit out. A lot of legal drugs should be. Decriminal, uh, to be 
illegal list. I mean, made illegal. <laughs> Decriminalized. Yeah, drogies. Aside from marijuana, like, light drugs should be allowed. But other than that, like, you don't want a crack academic. I don't want a crack crack academic. I don't want an opium epidemic like there was in China or... Oh, no, in Britain. <laughs> you, you don't want that. No. Drug use. No. Same-sex marriage. Yeah, strongly agree. I mean, you always complain about gay dudes being degenerate and like having sex everywhere. I mean, having them married would stop them being degenerates. I mean, they'll settle down, they'll get a family, they'll, they'll make a family, they'll... Yeah, the. I mean, it'll help them integrate. Maybe, of course, they can't have children, but, you know, you want them to at least settle down and to stop sleeping around and... Yeah, I strongly agree. No cultures are superior to others. Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> That's I mean like I mean cultures can be eroded, even though culture like no culture I mean culture having a culture is better than no culture, I mean you know, they're just objectively bad cultures. I mean, like a Congo, like the Congo culture. I mean, with them always raping women. <laughs> I mean, or black culture. No offense, no offense to black people, but your culture's bad, at least at the moment. It used to be really good. They used to have a very strong culture now. Back in the 90s or the 80s or... Up until... Like, the FBI screwed all them by introducing crack into their communities. But... Yeah. I mean, culture matters. Of course, of course, culture... Yeah, strongly disagree. Of course, there's North Korea. There's Russian culture. There's Chinese culture. No, I don't know who would agree with that. Sex and marriage is immoral. Nah, I disagree. Again, I was saying this before in the other video. Like, sex and marriage, um... Like, some would agree. Like, if you sleep around with hundreds of people, then yeah, that's kind of immoral. But, I mean, testing the goods before you make a commitment isn't a bad thing. Like, like if you're going to get married to someone, you're going to spend the rest of your life with somebody, you know, you want to know everything about them. And having bad sex, you know, will be a would be a big thing it uh, would be a big determinant to you having a happy marriage I mean it's not good uh, yeah might as well have sex I know it's unchristian to say so but you can't just blindly follow everything Christianity says you have to have a reason yes yeah, disagree said Margaret at all it's one of the similar yeah, strongly agree. And migrants, yeah, they, they have to assimilate. I strongly agree. Abortion to recriminate in most or all cases. I don't know. I disagree. I mean, again, like I was saying in the last video, like, <laughs> I mean, who cares? It's just a fetus. They're not alive. I mean, it's kind of dumb. I mean, I know I'm a Christian. I should be against abortion, but... I mean... Technically, the kid doesn't... 
if you're a Christian, then technically you believe in heaven and the kid doesn't really actually die. <laughs> I mean, he goes to heaven. He goes to heaven when you abort him. So, I don't know. I strongly dis uh, I, I disagree somewhat. Like, you shouldn't go so far as to, as to allow abortions in the 8th or ninth month. Like, it should be done fairly early, but... Yeah, disagree. Gun ownership should be prohibited to those without a value. Gun ownership should be prohibited. Yeah, I have to agree. I mean, unlike with America, which is, has a big gun culture and it'll be very hard to remove guns, I'm kind of glad... Australia got rid of guns because you know you get people committing suicide with them you have mass shootings you have I don't know I mean I know there's a, there's the argument that it allows you to fight back against the government if they get too, too controlling but I don't know. Yeah, I have to agree. So Singapore universal health care. Yeah. Of course, obviously. I don't think that people should get sick. People shouldn't get sick and be not be able to pay it. That's awful. Yeah. Prostitution should be illegal. I don't know. I'm unsure about that. I don't know. I somewhat disagree. I mean... Yeah. I mean, people are going to do it anyway. I, don't, I mean... Make it illegal, it just means that it's harder to, to protect women who are doing the rounds. I mean, the way they don't get trafficked or whatever. Yeah, I disagree. Maintaining family values is essential. Hmm, family values. Yeah, I don't know, kind of agree, family values, seeing what it's done, being unpolitically correct, <laughs> like, yeah, gay pride parades with them, all getting naked in front of kids, yeah, I have to agree. Chase progress all costs is dangerous. Oh, I'm neutral in that. Chase progress at all costs. Actually, yeah, I'd have to strongly agree because, you know, sometimes enough is enough. Like with, with fem, like with, with scientific progress, I have to be neutral on it, but. But like with feminism and and LBGT rights, I mean it's starting to get too much. Yeah, you can't just keep progressing. It's like enough's enough. You've got equal rights. I mean, I don't think you need to keep going with it. <laughs> Yeah, strongly agree. Genetic modifications are also good, even on humans. I'm not sure. I mean, on one hand, you can, like, get rid of diseases, like hereditary diseases and everything with genetic engineering, which is good, but then you get a Nazi thing. Everybody's going to be... <laughs> go for a certain type. I don't know. I'd say neutral. You need to not get everybody going for the Aryan race. 
in I've seen characters <laughs> play games like Dragon's Dogma and Terraria. Everybody's going to make lollies. <laughs> Everybody's going to genetically modify themselves to be underage children. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I have to be neutral. <laughs> yeah, I'm not too sure people really know what is beautiful either. And... There's all sorts of things which can be considered beautiful in the real world, but it'll cause us to become generified and neutral. I'm not sure. We should open a borders to immigration. Agree. I mean, you do need to replace our birthright and everything. I'm opposed to immigration, like legal immigration, I didn't see any problem with. As long as they, yeah, have with the, like if they integrate, you, you have it so like America, like they're forced to integrate to their culture instead of the other way around. Instead of multicultural society, it's just really stupid. But immigration itself isn't bad. You, you do, it gets wealth, it... Yeah, skin colour is just skin colour. So, yeah. Government should be concerned about foreigners that are about their own citizens. I'm not sure. I mean, you're just reaching at that point, but then again, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I somewhat agree. I mean... Foreigners do affect us. I mean, it doesn't exist. We don't exist in a vacuum. Uh, yeah, I agree. People got the fact that cultural sexuality should be treated equally. Treated equally. Cultural sexuality. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Equally, not equity. <laughs> Equally, it's fine. Equality is good. You should treat them equally, and you shouldn't, like, favor one race over the others. I hate that. I hate what DEI and has done to gaming, and feminism has done to gender, and, you know, you shouldn't favor one sex over the other. I, I, or one race over the other. I agree. Putting the film, my group's goals above all others. My group's goals above all others. Somewhat agree. I mean... Yeah, I have to agree. Putting my group's goals above all others. Yeah, strongly agree. People seem to function better. Society seems to function better under capitalism and for people who... Well, I'm up to 70, session 70 already, yeah. They function better under capitalism. People function better when they're selfish in a lot of cases, but... But social programs are good as well, but... I don't know, I'll just go agree. Social markets, really? Moderate. Centrist. No, I'm a centrist! <laughs> Society, social. I thought it would be more free market. Diplomatic access balance. Diplomatic access. Moderate. I'm very moderate in everything. Well, I'm a centrist. <laughs> Progress. Tradition. A little bit more on tradition. Well, I guess that's it. I mean, I thought 
thought I'd be libertarian again, but it looks like I'm not. <laughs> thought I'd be more free market, but I'm more social. But, uh, yeah, I thought that was a bit strange with the other political compass test. Because I'm not really libertarian. I like government. I, I like to own... Collectively own stuff like roads and healthcare and the military and stuff like that. I think libertarians are kind of dumb. <laughs> no offense if you're libertarian, but yeah, it's like. Diplomatic. Yeah, that's a far better test. I would say I'm a centrist. I'd say I'm a centrist. I'm pretty central in everything. Civil axis model. So, economic axis. Yeah, I thought I'd be more market, though. I do like capitalism. I don't like... I don't like socialism. But, you know, they do need to be regulated, though. You can't just have, like... You know, them selling rat poison. <laughs> or having monopolies like Disney. They do need to be broken up if they get too big. And it, yeah. Certain protections are good. Diplomatic actions, yeah. Globe, yeah, that's accurate. I, I don't like... You should protect your own nation's own interests. More, you don't need to... Yeah. Globalism's... I don't know, like... It's fine to allow immigrants into our country, but they have to integrate to our nation. You, you have to look after yourself before you can help others. It's tough looking after others if, you, if you're sick and dying. <laughs> you have to be healthy. You have to be healthy first. And liberty over authority. Yeah, liberty. But authority is good as well. You know, you need an equal amount. Like liberty. I'd say liberty is slightly better than authority. But, you know, regulations on companies is good as well. Like, tradition. Progress. Yeah, I guess that's it. I'm surprised. I'm surprised. Actually, no, less surprising than the goddamn political <laughs> political compass. But yeah, that's about it. I'll see you guys later.